Hey guys, Shannon 567 here, and today we are back with more of The Walking Dead. I was about to call it The Last of Us. <laughs> Thankfully, I was able to record today. I'm getting a chair right now. I'm in my living room, not usually in my room, so I have to get a chair for my kitchen. Jesus. I was saying, thankfully, I was able to record today because remember what I said that time I was going to be able to. Because, uh, school. I graduated yesterday from Unity, Unity Junior High. Can see how we kept this place so safe. I didn't save all too much. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're Canada. pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Uh, mm. Guys, this She's is creepy. Our she creeps me off for some reason. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, Lily, to I think Lily is the that only one. She was Air Force, wasn't she? Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We brought gasoline. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What we she... have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you I know I chose souls. different things from last It'll episode, be but it's nice great. to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. Take I can ben. handle myself. Oh, never mind. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Uh, Ben's gonna die. Mark, <laughs> Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Oh. Go to the gate. Oh yeah, this episode might be longer than others because I'm home alone for a really long time, so it's not like anyone's going to interrupt me, which is why mine tend to end a bit earlier in this room. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. 
Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Dead. Just like everyone else, I'm oh, sure. Oh, dead. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we Died. lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It Dead. was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's the family holding up? Holding up since, uh, you know. All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Ah, uh, yes. I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, that was an email. Ignore know. that. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Something outside my house. Since now that I'm in my living room, it's making a loud ass noise. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Everything in here looks safe, and now I know where to find some rope in case they need help tying anything down. This oh, dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? Shit. This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. Where is he? You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it. He died? Why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. And you guys are awfully nice. It concerns me. Where the hell is Andy? I can't find him. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I know where to get the rope. I don't know where to get the wood. Open the gate. This rope is perfect for the swing. So I got rope. I just need some wood. Plants. Mm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Oh, this is where you are. Mm, wait. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. Could be useful if I can Take find it. some boards to cut. Oh my. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Thank you. 
Oh, okay, so that just fits in your pocket somehow. It magically fits in your pocket. Uh, who are you, Link from Legend of Zelda with his freaking bombs and everything? And his endless pockets, his bottomless pockets. Fix the swing. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that hmm. swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Okay, let's go talk to Andy. Lee, I'm interested in your bottomless pockets. Do you have black magic or something like that? Because right now it says you have an axe. Right there where my cursor is. It says you have an axe somewhere on you. I do not see it anywhere on you. Talk to Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Uh... An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with Mac? the generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okay, it's saved. Oh, jeez. Don't be a long cutscene. Oh, I can pause it. I forgot. Okay. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, don't we know. don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out. out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. E I wouldn't do that, bird. It's alive, isn't it? Ugh. It He's gonna jump at me. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. He's gonna jump at me. <laughs> Watch. Looks like he's stuck. What? Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? I love it. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. 
What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another Our friend Mark has wet dreams about it. this farm. He's always talking about it. Ah, uh, this one screwed up the fence pretty bad. One of these are gonna jump at me. What? He's gonna lift its head up and then like roar and try and eat me. Look. <laughs> Jesus. You never I'll... get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Fix the board. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Just, Just focus try on to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> uh, Mark's gonna die. Button mash. Holy fuck! What just happened? Uh, Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the hell? What's shooting at us? What's shooting at us? Oh, it's those raiders and. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Come on out. Crap. What about all the rangers? You use one of these things. Okay, do something. What am I supposed to do? Lee, get back here. Yeah, I'll probably die. The blades are stuck in the door. What do you want me to do? No fuel. Come on, what do you want me to do? Oh, the plank. Damn it, the blades. The blades are stuck in the dirt. Oh, I knew you're dead. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Look at that. I'm gonna stop it here. <laughs> Jeez, how long has this video been going on? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. A good, like, 20 to 19 minutes. <laughs> oh, like I said in the last video, I might not be recording very often because I just graduated. So I'm on summer break. So a lot of people are gonna be in my house all at once. They won't give me opportunity to record. So yeah, that's pretty much it basically. Like I said, you'll get like a few recordings here and there like today basically, cause yesterday was my last day. People live with me, their last day was today. So I was home alone for some time. So anyways, please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.